All right, so here we are at the very end, post-mortem. So just going to go over everything that kind of happened in video form, almost similar to like the interview. Got a couple pictures. It should help, you know, display everything. Uh, so first off, let's start off by my name. Uh, my name is Steve Taylor, um, and the name of my game was Thanksgiving. As you can see, we got the little Snoopy here right here. Um, yeah, don't really know. I guess the, the, the name of the game just kind of came out of nowhere based off of my theme and everything like that. Uh, so my theme was tradition. And, um, you know, I was battling with really my themes pretty hard because um, we had launching and I kind of like the Apollo 11 or I'm sorry, 13 uh, theme that I had going on with there. Um, but d this is what I ended up with. Uh, I kind of liked it uh, because I feel like I can be pretty traditional with those things. So I guess I relate it to it, I guess. Um, so um, how did to how did I get how do you get from your research to the design of your game? Um, that's a tricky one. Uh, I actually had a hard time trying to figure out exactly what my game was going to be. and But I honestly thought of a, a traditional type of game. And when you think of tradition, you think of origins. And some of the origins of some regular analog games are card games. And what's one of the most famous card games is poker. Um, so I kind of based my game similarly to poker, and that's how I kind of came about that. So uh, the basic rules of the game, similar to poker, try and get the best hand. Uh, you know, strongest hand win. I knew you see, you've seen these hands in poker before if you're, uh, if you're known for it, but I wanted to make it different. I didn't want it to just be poker. I didn't want it to really be poker at all. The only aspect that I really wanted from poker was the... Uh, the strength in hands. That's really about it. Everything else is kind of up in the air. Um, but the basic rules of the game, you go through a couple rounds uh, and then per player with the best hand after those certain rounds uh, gets wins the, wins, the, wins the turn, wins the game, however you want to call it. And you play this as many times as you, as you want. And uh, afterwards, um, whoever has the most wins based off of how the game is played, uh, then that defines the complete, the total winner. Um, you know, other people can have wins, but whoever has the most wins, wins the entire thing. Um, so what did the game start as before your play test? Um, it started off meaningless. Let's, let's be honest. Um, I had a lot of random chance in there. I had too much because there's still chance because even in poker there's chance, but I had too much chance and I didn't really like that. Um, so as I play tested, I noticed that although players had choices, they weren't meaningful choices. So I had to get that in there. Um, so uh, when uh, I got the play test going, you can see that's the trash pile right there. Um, I wanted to get some type of big choice that can actually help the players out. And the big event that kind of helped shape the direction of it was what we call the Thanksgiving pick. Uh, now, the Thanksgiving pick is that meaningful choice that I was missing into the game. And it's thanks, I, we call it Thanksgiving because um, it's like a, it's a pick uh, of a card that you know for a fact. Because every other aspect of the game is slightly chance. You know, it's a little bit of random going into it because you don't know which card you're picking. But the Thanksgiving pick, you know for a fact which card you want. You can work it the way you want to. So you're thankful for it. Um, and that Thanksgiving pick, that's what made the game meaningful. I also saw a lot of stronger hands, poker hands, or strengthened hands, uh, when people were able to use their Thanksgiving pick. It kind of made the game more competitive as well, which I really enjoyed. Um, so that Thanksgiving pick, after every all the cards are revealed, you actually get a chance to pick a card uh, that you want and exchange it for another card in your hand to try and get the best hand, but you only get it once, so you have to use it wisely. So you have to realize when to use it, when not to use it. Should I wait? Should I not wait? That gave it more meaning, and like I said, I start seeing more competitive hands each round. Like there was one time where three different people had full houses, but you know the one with the, who had the highest full house won it. So uh, that was good. Um, where did the game end up? Once. We finally got the Thanksgiving pick in, uh, and we, you know, kind of fine-tune everything. Uh, that's when it kind of got better. Like I said, uh, at first, before I, because I didn't implement the Thanksgiving pick probably until like the sixth or seventh play test, uh, and before that, it was some pretty weak hands. You know, there was one person who just got lucky 
and you know play their cards right and uh, got just hands down had a better hand. Um, but as the Thanksgiving pick got better, I saw the game get more competitive, which I liked because you know uh, it wasn't just a landslide for the other person who won. It's like oh you know gar cards were dealt to me the correct way. Hey, I win. It was a lot more competitive. So it was more about who had the high the highest flush or the highest straight or the highest full house and not just getting a full house or something like that. So I think that's what I liked about that. Um, how do I feel about where the game is today? I really enjoyed it. I think uh, my play testers, they enjoyed it. It was something different, but yet also something that they knew, uh, which is kind of the thing that I was kind of going for with tradition, uh, which is uh, what I wanted. Um, so I'm, I'm happy with it. Um, you know, I had to take some aspects of other games to kind of put it all together and I was really nervous about putting the game together in the first place because I was just drawing blanks um, but I'm actually happy that I was able to create a game like this um, based off of a traditional card game and that's what I was going for. Uh, other than that thank you uh, and have a good one.